Good morning to everyone, and welcome all of you for joining me today uh, for the launch of All Simply Barcode for Android. My name is Edmund Tong. I'm the Product Development Director at AutoSimply. I think most of you are familiar with or know about our barcode product. Um, our previous versions were designed to run on Windows CE handheld devices, which connect to our backend web services. The front end can also run on Windows desktops and tablets. And today, we're adding a new front end to the product, which is an Android app. Before I move on and talk about the app, I'd like to give you a perspective on the adoption of AutoSimply Barcode so far. So the product has been on the market for around two and a half years, and we have 100 customer uh, implementations uh, worldwide. You can see from the chart, uh, most of the customers are in North America, but we also have about 25% in Asia. So I would like, like to take this chance to thank you all of you uh, for supporting our product. And then the rest would be in uh, Africa and also other countries. And then in terms of the industry, uh, most of our customers are in distribution, while around 30% are in manufacturing. Okay, and also simply, we want to create the right add-on products for the right purpose. So we add functionality to Sage 300, which customers need that are lacking in the core product. Another thing is uh, Sage always emphasizes connected services in their strategy. Well, we embrace that in our Baco product with online real-time updates of warehouse transactions. And we design applications to run on platforms that are most suitable and fit the purpose and with uh, usability in mind. So we don't really target one size fit all web UIs, but rather native mobile or desktop applications that are the best fit for the use cases. With that, I'd like to announce the availability of AutoSimply Barcode on Google Play today. So what you can do now is uh, you can launch Google Play, uh, search for AutoSimply Barcode or Sage 300 Barcode and install the app. To make it easy for you to start trying the app, we actually set up a cloud uh, demo server. So what happens is like once the app is installed, it will automatically connect to the demo server. You can just log in as admin, admin and start using it. So that means you can try it out now or do demos right away without any setup on your side. Now, one thing I want to emphasize, this app is not just a demo version. It is the real thing. So when you deploy the app on uh, customer devices, for example, Simply go to settings, put in the server IP address of the production barcode server, and the customer is up and running. And of course, you can do the same if you want to test the app against your own barcode server setup. Okay, so before I move on with the slides, I'll just go ahead and show you the app. Okay, what you see on screen is actually a screencast of uh, my phone right now. Um, so I can go to uh, the Play Store and then search for either Sage 300 Baco or Auto Simply Baco. Uh, I'll just select Sage 300 Baco. And you will see uh, the Auto Simply app. Um, I select it and then I can install the app on this device. Accept the uh, permissions, and it should download and install in a couple seconds. Okay, it's installing right now. Okay, so after installation, I can just open up the app. And what happens is uh, without any setup, it will automatically connect to our cloud demo server. So on this login screen at the top part, you can see that uh, it's um, connecting to the uh, demo server. And then I can just log in as admin admin. And 
and uh, I, I would get the uh, the main menu of the app, which I can do transactions against the uh, demo server. Okay, so if I want to do a PO receipt, let's say I want to do a PO receipt, a single PO, um, I can search for a particular purchase order. So if I click on the magnifier and then search, you can see all the orders set up uh, in the sample data uh, on the demo server. So if I select a particular uh, purchase order, and then next, it will list like all the items in that particular purchase order. And then I can start scanning uh, items um, to receive uh, those items for this purchase order. Now, what I want to do right now is instead of using the demo server, I want to connect this app to uh, my own machine so that I can I have the right data for this demo. So I would just go back to the main menu and then uh, lock out. Back to the uh, login screen and I go into the settings screen and put in the IP address or the server name of my um, uh, barcode server and you can actually do exactly the same thing after installing the app if you want to use the app or try the app against your own barcode setting this is where you put in your uh, IP address of the uh, server so I'll just put in okay, the IP back now, this app is now connected to my uh, machine um, with uh, barcode setup, and you can see at the top of the login screen it does not say anymore it's connecting to the uh, demo server. And you can see on the company list is actually the list of companies I have on my machine. So let me log in. And then do the same thing. I want to do a PO receipt for a single purchase order. Um, just now I showed uh, scanning, uh, searching for a particular purchase order, but I can I can also uh, call up the camera and scan the barcode of a purchase order number, which is like could, can be printed on the purchase order. So let me call up the camera and then scan the purchase order. Okay, so it's PO44, click next. And these are the, all the items uh, in the purchase order, and I can start uh, scanning items. So for example, okay, so I just scanned uh, an item, which is the uh, fluorescent desk lamp, and then I can put in the quantity, let's say two for this item. And then you can see for uh, uh, this particular item, the receipt uh, current quantity is now two. Now, let me try to scan another item with lot numbers. Okay, this is an item calculator um, with lot numbers. So the app is uh, waiting for me to scan the lot number for this item. So I can scan lot number. Try again. Okay, so this is a lot number, quantity is one. Then, okay. And then the next example, let me try to uh, scan an item with uh, serial numbers. So it works fairly uh, similar. So if it's a serial number, it waits for me to uh, scan in a serial number for this item. Okay, so the April 500 is the serial number. After I receive all the items, I can just click post and post the PO receipt. And then same as the, uh, the Windows CE uh, client, this basically works uh, online real time. So it posts the uh, document to the C300 uh, uh, system right away. And you can see document uh, receipt 225 is now posted. Okay, 
Now, let me show you another example uh, for OE shipment, for example, and I can do a single um, SO shipment. And this time I will try to look up a particular order. So if I click on the magnifier, and then I know that the order number is 131, I can search for it. Click on the order. And these are all the items uh, in that particular order. So let me try to um, scan an item. So same thing. Um, I can click OK. Um, another thing is uh, the user can also um, highlight a line, hold it, and then he can edit. So just now I actually scanned in one uh, I, uh, quantity one for this item. If I go and add it, it shows one and I can change it to two. And then I can post the order or, or the shipment. Okay, so shipment 164 is now posted. So basically, uh, if you are familiar with the Baku product, you can see it actually works fairly similar to the uh, Windows CE client. So the existing customers would uh, find it a very easy to adopt and use. For this app, this version, we already support uh, PO, receipt, OE shipment, uh, returns for both uh, PO and OE. Um, the basic IC functions like internal usage, stock count, transfer, transfer receipt. And we also have the IC extended uh, modules where the user can do uh, IC transactions such as like receipt, shipment, returns, assembly, disassembly, and also looking up uh, manufacturing, uh, manufacturer's items. We also have the inquiry uh, module uh, where um, people can look up like item information, stock availability, and also lot zero numbers of particular items, as well as uh, looking up uh, pending receipts and shipments based on various uh, criteria. Okay. So now let me go back to my slides. Okay, um, with an Android app, uh, it certainly opens up new potentials for easy deployment and better user experience. But there are other reasons why you should start considering and looking at this app uh, now. First of all, um, Microsoft already announced the end of life of Windows CE and uh, Windows Embedded. Uh, it's going to go out of support in 2020. It's less than two years away, so for any bar new Baku customers, they should really consider going with the Android platform. And then, um, alongside the Windows CE handheld devices, a lot of, of you are familiar with, the Android versions tend to have bigger screens, uh, much more powerful CPUs, and also, best of all, they, are, they tend to be much cheaper than the Windows CE variants. So just for an example, the uh, Zebra MC3200 uh, handheld device, which runs Windows CE, retails at about 1200 US dollars. Another model, Zebra TC20, which is a fairly new uh, handheld device model, which runs Android 7, retails at 650 US dollars. So you can see it's the same industrial level handheld devices, but at about half the price of Windows CE. So it's a much better value for your customers. Okay, so the same app runs on uh, these industrial level handheld uh, computers or devices, um, and as well as Android phones and tablets, which I have uh, shown you earlier. Okay, the first release of the app supports all the PO, OE, and IC functions, including the receipts, returns, shipments, uh, IC transfer, stock count, internal usage, etc. This release also supports GS1, 
and HIBC barcodes, uh, which we added to our Windows CE front end in the 2018 version. As a recap, uh, GS1 and HIBC are industry standards that encode multiple information in a single barcode. So the user can just like scan one barcode and that captures multiple information such as product code, uh, lot number, and expiry date, etc. Now, due to time constraints and our desire to get the app out to the majority of our customers, we cannot include a few features in this first release. So the support for uh, autosomply manufacturing, shop floor, and bin tracking can make it this round and we'll add them in upcoming updates of the app. To use the app, uh, you will need AutoSimply Baco installed, of course, and activated in Sage 300 and also set up uh, the web services on the back end. Now, the app requires a Barcode 2018 product update 2 or above. So if you go and download the app today and want to change the setting and point it to your own Barcode server in-house for testing, you will need to go to our website and download uh, uh, the Barcode 2018 product update 2, which was released uh, fairly recent, I think a couple weeks ago. For uh, Sage 300, uh, barcode supports uh, version 2014 up to 2018. And the app can be installed on uh, Android devices with uh, version 4.4 above. Now, the newest uh, version of Android is Android uh, version 8. So most of the devices out there would be uh, at least version 5 or, or above. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in terms of uh, deployment, um, I've already mentioned you can deploy the app on uh, Android phones or tablets and use the phone camera to scan barcodes. Now there are also uh, Bluetooth barcode scanners or wedges um, in, on the market and they pair with the uh, phones. So you can, the users can also use those uh, Bluetooth scanners to scan barcodes. And this provides a very low cost but effective solution for uh, uh, some of the customers. Android handheld computers or devices, they are industrial level devices designed for heavy use. They are rugged, drop and uh, dust resistant so they are most suitable for dusty warehouses. Um, some of them I know are also water resistant too. Um, so they are really designed for outdoor use. For existing customers um, who are already using Baco and they would have uh, using, they, they would have Windows C devices already and they might want to add new Baco users. Well, they can add new uh, Android devices to the current implementation because the, the Android devices and the Android app, they can coexist with the uh, Windows CE devices the customers already have or, and using in the warehouse today. Okay, this is um, just the first release of the app and you will see uh, much more coming. Um, first is iOS support. So right from the start, uh, we want to have both the Android and iOS app. We are working on the iOS version right now, and I think it's quite close to complete. And it will be released once it's ready. And then next would be support for uh, auto-simply manufacturing and shop floor. And this would be for both the Android and iOS uh, versions. And then we will also add in tracking uh, support to uh, both versions of the apps as well. Um, you would see all these coming out in the next few months. Okay, so what you sh can do today is uh, go to Google Play, install the app, try it out, show it to your customers and prospects, and uh, let us know what you think. So send us an email on what you think about the app and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Stay up to date with what's new at AutoSimply. Thank you very much.